Hey Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Sierra, aka Capricorn Moon Goddess, back with another quick, quick, quick reading for you all. This is in regards to what is stopping your manifestations from materializing in the way that you want them to or within the time frame that you want them to. So, as always, use your discernment and your own intuition as you are listening to this reading. You get to decide what resonates with you and what does not, okay? So, so this is messages that I received for those that are meant to see this video. If you feel like this was not meant for you, that's fine. Be on the lookout for videos for your other signs. Okay, so we're going to make this short and sweet. We have the Hanged Man, Ten of Cups, the Moon, Ten of Coins, and the Wheel of Fortune on the top. So that is telling me that the reason why your manifestations are not materializing the way you want them to is because your perspective on happiness, fulfillment, stability, what your goal should be, what it looks like to have happiness and stability, all of that is not based on truth, what your true calling is. Um, with this hanged man, there is a need to change your perspective on something. Right now, your current perspective is based on some subconscious childhood, for the most part, inner child um, issues that made you feel like you had to live your life in a certain way. You had to work a certain job. You had to have a certain career. You had to have a college degree. Maybe your parents pressured you into doing a particular thing, or it could just be societal pressures that you have to be this is what your life has to look like in order to be successful so if you all are letting social media make you feel bad for not being in a certain space in life you definitely want to cut that out why are you that's another thing i'm getting okay find your why whatever your current goals are or whatever your manifestations are why are you trying to manifest that in the first place you really need to understand why you want certain things in order to really understand if you really do want those things or if those desires are being led by outside influences and not by your true self okay your true inner self and your true higher self okay do you know what your life's purpose is? If so, how did you come to that conclusion? So that's what I'm seeing with you all. You all with this Wheel of Fortune card, you may feel like you were fated or destined to do a particular thing or that your life had to look a certain way. And that's just not <laughs> what your higher self is wanting. That is not what your higher power is wanting. That is not what your spirit guides are wanting. So you need to do some integration with your higher self. Sit down, sit still um turn the tv off all of that stuff and figure out what it is that you truly want and why do you want it if you have some sort of issues with this ten of coins card um with maybe not having as much as you wanted to when you were a child as far as financial stability are you making decisions about your adult life based on having financial stability, doing things that you don't necessarily want to do, but just feeling like I have to do this because I have to survive? So are you in survival mode right now? When we make decisions in survival mode or try to manifest out of survival mode, oftentimes that can backfire and that can make those things not happen because A, they weren't meant to happen and B, we have anxiety <laughs> when we're doing it. We're not in mental alignment with what it is that we're trying to create in the first place. So also with this 10 of cups, do you have the fairy tale syndrome where you feel like your life has to look how the fairy tales look, how the love, uh, the love chick flick movies end up? Do you have that sort of distorted view on the world that's not necessarily realistic for you and your life whatever it is that you're trying to do make sure it is for your individual self and not based on solely on what society says a successful person should look like um we also have at the bottom the two of coins knight of cups judgment in reverse seven of wands what is this one? Eight of swords in reverse and the knight of swords. Okay, so with the knight of swords, sometimes y'all make y'all might make um, impulsive decisions 
impulsive life decisions <laughs> or things that you should do without fully thinking them out and again thinking about why you're doing what you're doing with this seven of wands this is somebody that's doing hard labor traditional hard work maybe your life is not meant to look like working a traditional job maybe you're supposed to be more of an artistic type okay maybe you're supposed to have more of a creative type of job more of a job where it's more right brain than left brain and you're not just you know going through the motions okay um also with this two of coins knight of cups um you all could have some issues with parenting especially since we have a mother it looks like a mother and a child here there could have been an imbalance in your situation with your parent with your mother or it could have been a father again you may not have felt like they gave you the security that you needed uh the affection that you needed they may be very harsh on you they may be very critical of you there is some sort of imbalance there and that is affecting how you see the world okay you are somebody who feels like you want to be nice and giving to other people and maybe that comes from a lack of receiving that in your household but you want to make sure that you don't overly give of yourself that doesn't really have too much to do with well okay that could have something to do with manifestation because if you are overextending yourself then you're not necessarily fully focusing on the things that you need to be doing for yourself so you might be running around doing everything to help everybody else and their goals and their dreams and you're not fully focusing on what you need to do for you okay um with this eight of swords in reverse it looks like some of you may be coming out of that which is good you might find that you are starting to go out of your comfort zone and you're starting to release some of the anxiety that you may have about going out of your comfort zone let me see we already had six seven minutes let me hurry up <laughs> okay so next we have transformation so again you all are not fully done going through your transformation and coming into the person that you were meant to be so right now if you are trying to manifest certain things those may not be things that you want maybe two weeks from now a month and now from now three months from now so that could be why you are not your manifestations aren't materializing you are constantly evolving so when you evolve the things that you want will evolve as well we have honor your inner beauty so understand that you are worthy of the things that you are meant to manifest especially if they are in alignment with your life's purpose and understand just because you're talented in a specific area doesn't mean that's your life purpose. I'm very smart. I'm very uh, quick-witted. I'm good with arguing. I'm good. I'm very well, you know, I'm articulate, eloquent, things of that nature. I wanted to be a lawyer. People tell me I should be a lawyer all the time. That's just not where my life's purpose is meant to go, even though I am talented in that area, okay? So just because you're talented in a certain area doesn't mean you have to work in that area. We also have connect with music. Maybe you all want to be singers instead of working at a nine to five office job. Maybe you want to be musicians. Maybe uh, listening to music is what helps you to manifest. Listen, have a manifestation playlist that may help you get in the right mind frame in order to manifest what you want. Remember, manifestation has a lot to do with your conscious mind, your subconscious mind the way you think, the way you feel, all of that stuff, okay? So that's why we can do things, exterior things, using candles, using music, um, using tools. That's why we can use those to help us. It's not the tools that is helping us. It is the mood that we are put in from using those tools that's putting us in the alignment with attracting what we want. So you all may want to turn to music for that or to sound healing. Um, we also have the miracle of forgiveness. So again, especially if y'all have some parental issues, you may want to work on forgiving them and not holding that in your heart. Also, some of you do overextend yourself to people. So just forgiving people for taking advantage of you, not going back to those people, not necessarily being in contact with them. You can forgive people without having a relationship with them, okay? Um, so you may need to learn what forgiveness looks like. Forgiveness doesn't mean you have to allow that person back into your life so they can continue to hurt you over and over again. If you keep people around you that aren't meant to be around you, that's a good way to block your blessings and block your manifestations. 
We also have manifesting miracles. It says, thank you, Orion, for manifest miracles in my world. So believing that you can manifest miracles, miraculous miracles sounds like something that is unattainable. But when you think about the science of manifestation, you realize it is very attainable. Okay, so you may want to look into the scientific side of manifestation if you find it hard to just believe that it works okay we have the leap of faith so don't be afraid to go after the things that you want even if they don't line up with what society says you should be doing also we have belief surrender your belief in scarcity so don't have a scarcity mindset if you want to be a hairstyler don't feel like oh well that's a oversaturated uh, field so it would be hard for me to start now and get clients now because everyone pretty much has all their clients already look one person two person three person four people a thousand people they can't service everyone in the world there's billions of people in the world okay so be understand that you will find your tribe you will find the people that are assigned to you once you start truly living in your purpose if you're just doing stuff because you think that for let's Let's use drop shipping. If you're just doing drop shipping because you see a lot of people are doing it and you know that it works for a lot of people, that might not work for you because that might not be what you're meant to do. You might be meant to make your own products, not just buying products, um, mass produced products that somebody else has made and then selling them on your website. You might be supposed to be a creator, <laughs> okay? So I like to use the drop shipping as an example because a lot of people are familiar with that. The t-shirts, the... Um, the mugs which is a little bit more creativity in that because you can make your own designs but you know just buying little everyday thing like chargers and random stuff that people go on amazon and buy and all that that might not be meant for you to do okay but you may feel like that's just easier no go ahead and tap into your creativity and and do what you want to do regardless of how oversaturated you might think that field may be don't feel like there's not enough to go around for those that are meant to be doing that okay we also have surrender to creativity so that's what i just said with the drop shipping um example you might be somebody that's supposed to tap into your creativity and that's going to help you manifest we also have surrender to setting limits that goes along with scarcity mindset understand that there's enough out there and everything you need is out there if you don't have the proper resources maybe you need to manifest that maybe you're over here trying to manifest the end goal but you need to man understand the steps and the the things that you need to get there and start breaking your big goal down into little chunks and then writing your manifestations based on that if you don't have the proper resources to do something maybe don't manifest that end goal but manifest having the resources and able to do that end goal i hope y'all get what i'm saying <laughs> like if you need to have licensing or education to do something maybe you need to manifest having the money the ability um the knowledge to be able to get the licensing that you need and then keep on manifesting you know more and more and more so being able to break down your large long-term goals into smaller short-term goals is what's going to help you to not be overwhelmed by the thought of even being able to achieve something to the point that you just give up and it's like i'm just not even about to try this okay so learn what some goal setting skills are. We also have surrender comparisons with other people. Again, feeling like the market is oversaturated, looking at other people's followers on Instagram. Let me tell you something. Followers don't always equate to dollars. People can have millions of followers, hundreds of followers, thousands. That doesn't mean that they are making money. That doesn't mean that those followers are converting to money. And there's people who barely have a following that are making money in real time every day in their business so don't be fooled by social media and don't compare your journey to other people we all have individual journeys that we are on you also don't know what that person is going through and what they dealt with to get to where they are if they are even accurately portraying where they are in life okay we also have surrender to rest and sleep so taking the time to just be still i am guilty of this moving around too much doing too much being too hyper take some time to surrender to rest sleep um 
mindfulness i'm practicing med meditation and mindfulness right now because that is like the one thing that i am missing <laughs> i have not mastered that yet okay so trust me i understand not being able to sit still but y'all need to do that surrender to success okay understand that it is okay to be successful in the things that you want to be successful in don't be afraid and don't run from success don't feel like i'm not equipped to handle the success what you're doing is pushing it out further and further all right so next real quick we're going to use some cards from I forgot the name of this deck, but it's the deck that has cuss words. <laughs> Just to make it a little bit less serious. Now, I don't cuss, so I ain't going to say the cuss words. Okay, y'all can read the cuss words on the card. So, we have... They're still waiting. It says, do the ish they asked you to do forever ago. Okay, so stop procrastinating. What's stopping your manifestations from materializing the way you want to? Procrastination, okay? We have just walk away. Uh, everyone could use a little effing break, <laughs> okay? If there are certain people you need to walk away from, that's what I was saying earlier. Forgiveness doesn't mean you have to have a forced relationship with somebody. You can feel free to cut people off if they need to be cut off. If you need to take a break from work, doing your boring, monotonous job that's lacking creativity, go ahead and do that, okay? If, you're a co if your job managers try to get mad at you, and you're using the days that you earn to take vacation or call in sick if you need to, don't let them basically drive you into the ground, okay? Take the breaks that you need to take from anything, anyone, anybody, okay? It says, you're smart, hot, and have a great ASS. <laughs> oh, what does the back say? Uh, your person is lucky, remind them. So if there's anybody in your life, relationship-wise, family-wise, Coworker wise manager wise that is making it seem like you're not an asset to them go ahead and remind them okay let them feel your absence with this just walk away card okay i'm not an asset let's see how you do when i take a break let's see how that works out for you also we have unplug turn it all off um it turns them on <laughs> This is a relationship deck, so that's why most of the cards are geared towards that. But turn it off, all off, meaning unplug. So, again, unplug from social media, from everyone else, what everybody else is doing, what everybody else is needing. If you need to turn, like, my sister is good for putting her phone on do not disturb, okay? You call her, it goes straight to voicemail. If you need to do that to have peace of mind, do that, okay? Do whatever is best for for you so that's what i have for you all sagittarius thanks for taking the time to watch this if it resonated please let me know in the comment section if y'all want more videos about how to set goals and how to manifest how to the science of manifestation the practicality of manifestation let me know i will be happy to do videos on that breaking that stuff down please like share and subscribe if you feel called to do so and thank you for taking the time to watch this I thought it was going to be quick, but it's not as quick as, you know, the other video I did, <laughs> which was five minutes. But I guess I had a little bit more to say to y'all. So I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.